Hello everyone and welcome back to my more important analysis videos with me, Rich Pair Market Analyst at Handset Markets on Tuesday 24th of October, looking at Dollar Yen. And what we've got on Dollar Yen is this little corrective move that we saw yesterday. We had the breakout above 13.43. Uh, on Friday, you had a, cons um, a decisive move to the upside initially, uh, hit a high of uh, 14.10, but then corrected back. But that correction closed pretty much bang on the breakout, 13.42 I've got on my Reuters chart here. And um, that is now sort of consolidate around where the market consolidated before just picking up again. So yes, the, the sort of negative candle that we saw yesterday with the sort of 70 tick, uh, 70 tick, 70 pip correction would have been seen as sort of disappointing, I suppose, but it's just a, essentially, I suppose, a pullback to the breakout and finding support yesterday, um, sorry, today around that level, 13, I mean, 1320 I've got on, on the hourly chart, but um, just breaking back above 1340 odd today sort of suggests that the market is still positively configured. This is, this is the hourly chart and you've got the sort of hourly RSI sort of picking up once again above 30. Um, MACD lines crossing higher, stochastics rising. This is all sort of suggesting that the bulls are still in control of this one and um, are willing to sort of buy into the weakness still. So I think um, that is just the case um, that what we've got to look for is uh, buying into weakness for a likely um, retest of that um, that resistance, that key resistance at 1450 that we've seen from the July high and also the May high pretty much. And I think those two levels are going to get tested at some stage and um, buying into the weakness uh, I think is going to be the, the case. So uh, you've still got positive momentum, you've still got the momentum uh, picking up on the MACD line, stochastics and RSI still mid 60s, that's all pretty good. So uh, I think yeah this is still sort of um, got the bulls in control of this one and uh, that should in, in um, should mean that we're going to get a retest of 14.50 in due course. So with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading and I'll speak to you later. Thank you.